hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tricia for those that are new welcome I'm so glad to have you today I wanted to share um, an option that I considered in my own home I had this little short wall on the side and I really wanted something there but I wasn't sure what I wanted so I went on Pinterest and I saw a lot of people doing this particular DIY um, with a coral branch um, so basically you're displaying a coral branch in there is a super simple project and I wanted to show you the steps just in case you um, were thinking of doing this and didn't know where to start or where to get the items so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the exact process and the items that I used okay the first item that you will need is the actual coral branch this is something that I bought on Amazon I actually bought two of them for this particular project because I wanted to do two of them at the same time like I said this project is really simple so this is what it looks like it is made out of plastic and I believe it's something that's supposed to go into an aquarium it has a rock at the bottom but for this particular frame that I'm using I'm not going to be able to add the rock in there it's very nice but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it in there. So what I'm gonna do is cut it off and I'm going to use my heavy duty clippers. This is something that you can use in the garden. If you don't have clippers, you can also use scissors, but it might take you a couple of tries to get through the branch. So here's what it looks like once I cut off the rock. And if you really like the rock, you could put it under the branch and have it folded over and kind of hot glue it together. It's completely up to you. The next item you will need is a picture frame. I bought mine from Ikea and the one that I have is 50 by 50 centimeters. Um, this is probably around $12 I wanna say. Okay, so now I'm just going to flip over the frame and take out the backing. So what I'm gonna do is paint the backing a white color um, because what I want to do is paint it the same as the wall that I'm going to hang it on. Um, so if you have a different color wall, I would suggest painting it the color of that particular wall color. I don't know if you caught that, but I had painted the backing um, earlier with a different white color and it was kind of transparent so I had to go in with a different white color um, that was more thicker and cover the entire surface after this layer dried I painted it again with another coat Okay, while that dries, what I want to do is spray paint the top of the coral branch. I didn't want to leave it black. Actually, it will look nice. Um, it will make a great contrast if you put it on the white, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted to spray it silver because I wanted to add more metal into the space. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray both of them at the same time and lightly spray. After I finish, I let it dry for about an hour. Okay, let's see what it looks like. So now what I'm gonna do is just position it in the center of the backing and kind of position it how I want it to be displayed. Um, you could do it kind of to the side or you can do it straight. So whatever is appealing to you.
Next, I pulled out my glue gun on the hot setting and what I want to do is just place a little dot of hot glue on the bottom of the branch in different areas. Um, you kind of have to use a bigger drop of glue here and there so that the branch could stick. So what I'm trying to do is make sure I tack it on with hot glue without anybody noticing that I have used hot glue. I highly recommend to not put a lot of hot glue on the back. I let the hot glue dry for about 10 minutes and then I just turned it to the side to see if it stayed. If you do decide to get the IKEA picture frame, you will need to peel the film off the front and the back of the acrylic sheet. After that's done, place the backing on the inside. Now press the tabs down so you can secure it to the picture frame. And that's it. So let's take a look at the wall that I had in the beginning. It was plain Jane. And now look at it. So much better. And also you get a glimpse of what I've been doing on my second level. <laughs> This is another view of it in the daytime. I thought it would be a nice touch to add a picture light at the top to give it a little bit of elegance. And I love it. It's very simple. It's a very easy project to do. And it adds so much character to the space. Here's a close up of it. One thing I will share after doing this project is to add a third coat of paint on the backing. Um, I thought it was going to be really white, but it turned out to be kind of like a cream color. I believe it's because the backing, the color of the backing is kind of blending in with the white. So watch out for that. So what do you guys think? Will you try it? Thanks guys for watching. Have a great week.